What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel and we are back with another training guide slash breakdown. This time we're taking a look at timber. Now I'm going to be doing a proper, proper in-depth review of timber and showing you why you should be leading the line with this guy into eFootball 2024, especially if you get one of these newer cards, right? And we're going to show you with the way that the gameplay is just why he's so good, okay? Now the big thing about timber lads that you need to look at is his speed and acceleration and also the fact that he's got 23 levels. So having 23 levels means that you are tied a little bit, but you can still turn him into a beast. Now, the one thing I will say as well is that he does not have um, he does not have aerial superiority, which I think is a must on this card. I definitely think that it's a must. If you are able to get aerial superiority on this card, it's going to turn this card from, you know, a really great player into kind of like a meta center back, right? And we're also going to take a look at two of the positions that he can play, okay? So the first is a right back. I'm going to take a look at that build very, very quickly here, which is, it's quite easy to see, okay? So the first uh, build that we're going to look at is for a right back version. Now, you will see that he goes to 89 overall as a right back there, um, but only an 88 on the card, right? So don't worry too much about the player's overall rating, uh, unless you want the visual card to be the highest value that he possibly can be. 23 levels, we're going to have one level left over, we're just going to throw that into aerial strength, that's not a big deal, but 4 into passing, 7 to dribbling, 11 to dexterity, 4 to lower body, 4 into defending, and 1 into aerial strength. Why I, why don't I recommend this build, right? I actually, I, I've talked to a few people about this build, yes he is a complete right back because he's um, naturally more defensive with that defensive awareness, while you still have 71 offensive awareness, you can bomb up and forward, he's not going to leave that many gaps at the back, and then he can also slot in with a sub tactic, or just, you know, generally speaking, he does he does kind of stay defensively enough anyway, Um, I do like this build as a right back, but there are better right backs, as I've always said lads, right, why buy a player, if you're looking for a passer, why buy a player and spend a lot of, you know, try and turn him into a passer, why not just buy a passer with all the player skills and the passing stats if you're looking for a passer? And if that's not working, you just switch him out. The same with Timber. If Timber's going to be your, your main man at the back or starting off with, uh, you know, first name of the team sheet along with Tommy Yasu or Cannavaro or Cordoba, whoever you have with him, partnering him, whether it's a three at the back or whatever, if you're playing a 3-5-2 with wing backs, there are better wing backs there than Timber. Yes, he can do a job for you with that 88 acceleration and that 85 defensive awareness with 84 aggression. And he does have brilliant player skills. Blocker interception as a right back is always good. But I just think that you are kind of robbing Peter to pay Paul, really, by using players in this way. You know, it's like kind of using Tommy Yasu as a right back. Yes, you can do it, but he's better as a CB. That moves us on to the actual center back version of the build. Now, this does depend on you being able to give him one of aerial superiority or heading, which he does not have on this card, right? So his standard card has the exact same uh, player skills, but this card had one less. So he did not have man marking on what I think was the best timber version that they ever released on this one until now, because he's got man marking on it and he's got slide tackling, uh, blocker, interception. He's also got one touch pass and long throw with acrobatic clearance and fighting spirit. So if you're able to throw on area superiority or heading or both, you are going to turn this guy into an absolute beast because all we're going to do is pop up the acceleration to 78 by one point. That will give us the boost with the form arrow to 80. We're also going to have 80 speed. 89 jump that is going to go over 90 with the form arrow whether it's the good form arrow or the excellent form arrow and then also with header that's going to be nearly at the 80 mark as well boosted by the heading or the area superiority um player skill there if you're able to give it additional skills and then it's all about the stats you know 93 86 92 and 90 i think this is the best build of him this is the build i've settled on and trying to give him a couple of those uh, player skills which we'll get into in our full deep dive gameplay review of timber now if you're looking to stay free to play as i always do on this series you can't go wrong with kunde lads kunde has been a mainstay him and alaba are kind of like they're they're like um What's the word, lads? Swiss Army knives. That's what they're like. You Swiss, Ar Swiss Army knives. You can just slot them in anywhere in the back and they'll just do a job for you. You can play them as a left-sided centre-back or else you can play them right back or CB, right? Excellent, excellent player and very similar, similar to Timber, right? He's got all the player skills that you could possibly want as well. He actually does have heading and aerial superiority. He has every player skill that you could possibly want for a defender, okay? He doesn't have one touch pass as Timber does have, but defensively, very similar. Speed, stature, everything is very similar. Heading, he jump, everything is very similar with this card. So if you are looking to stay free to play, he is your man. That is it for me. Don't forget to subscribe if you're enjoying the series and enjoying the content. And let's go, baby. We'll talk to you in a bit.